Hey everyone, it's Alan from Rhapsody Music Lessons, and I've got a student working on Golden Hour, and this is an uh, early intermediate arrangement. There are nine pages to this, and what my student and I, Corinne, what we're doing is we're taking kind of each page at a time. So what I want to do is break this down page by page into a tutorial, not only for her, but for anybody else working on this. This arrangement is by Chrissy Ricker. So if you're looking for this, um, I got this on Music Notes. I will try to get you a link as to where I got this particular arrangement. So this is going to be page one. And as I said, I'm going to take it page by page. When you start the song out, you notice that both the staffs here, the grand staff is all treble clef. And that's for page one. And at the end, it does switch down here to bass clef. So when I get to the page two tutorial, you'll see it um, in bass clef and hear it. But for now, your hands are playing kind of high on the keyboard. You've got your F, A, C with pedal happening all across line one for four measures. And your right hand is fairly close to that C. It's right here on D and you so D, E, G, A, G, E. And that's going to happen four times as well. So this is line one. We move into line two. We bring our left hand down to E, G, B. And we do that three times in a row. But on measure four, you're going to notice that your pinky slides to E flat. G, B. And your right hand is playing the pattern of C, E, G, A, G, E. And that does not change. All with pedal. Then we get down to line three. Left hand moves down to D, F, A, all the way across for four measures. Right hand, C, D, F, G, F, D. And it does that for four measures across. And we're on the last line. Your left hand comes down again. It's all descending. And we have C, E, G three times in a row. And we land on a C for the last measure and count to three. This is a three quarter time. Your right hand pattern is B, C, D, E, D, C. And it does that for three measures. The last measure lands on a B and you hold that with the C for three beats. So this is what that would sound like. Now I'll just play the page without talking and you'll get a better feel for the flow. That's page one, golden hour, and I will see you next time for page two. Bye-bye. And this is a continuation of a tutorial on golden hour, and this is page two. So on page two, you are now in, on the grand staff, you're in treble and bass. You've switched over, as I mentioned, on the page one. So what's going to happen here is your right hand is moved down towards the mid, middle C range on the keyboard register, and your left hand is playing F, A, C, and it's doing that four times across. You've got, um, your second measure just has a whole rest in the right hand, so you don't do anything. And your pattern with your right hand is E, D, E, D, E, D, G, 
changes a bit, same notes on the last measure, you'll see what I mean. We're still on the E, D, E, Ds, but we're going to move our left hand down to C, G, B. On your last measure, your pinky is going to slide up and into the E flat. Okay, E flat, G, B. So we've got this for our second line. line three or measure 25 and our left hand is playing DFA all across for four measures. Our right hand has the E and the D's again on two measures and the last measure there's just one note and it's an eighth note and it's a C. Here's how that goes. That's going to bring you right in to line four. You're still on the E D pattern here, but your left hand is now playing C G B twice, then two C's. One, two, for three beats each. One, two, three. So this is line three. Well, you've got now broken chords um, with intervals. So you have been playing broken chords throughout, but we have an A here in the right hand, and your left hand is going to be doing this. F, A, C, and three A, C's. One, two, three, one, two, three. And this is what this line sounds like, line five on page two. In this measure forte, you increase the volume, but we'll we'll deal with that stuff later, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to put this all together, and that will be our page two. and I'll see you for page three. Okay, so here we are on page three, and we've got bass, the grand staff is still bass and treble clef, as it should be, um, and we've got a different pattern starting up. Our left hand across the first line will be playing E, D, and B, B three times, and E, E in there. So this is what this is going to sound like. Then we come into line two. Your right hand's pretty easy. You've just got a G, F, two measures of rests for the right hand, and then just G, F, E. But your left hand is playing D, C, A. And that's middle C, then three C. So you can notice a pattern here. Different notes, same pattern. One, two, three. So this is line two. And that brings us into line three. You've got an E. You're going to hold for three. A, E. For three, E is your constant, it's staying on the bottom, C, E for three, 
two, three, and this is a D with an E and it's staccato. One, two, three. One, two, three. Even though this says with pedal, we've got to kind of lift that pedal to have that staccato come through. The left hand is also going to be staccato with that. One, two, three. So our left hand's playing E, G sharp, and B. Then three more of those. Then three more of those. One, two, three, one, two, three. So the left hand is all E, B, and G sharp. If there's one E and the rest are all Bs and G sharps. So this is what line three sounds like. Now we come into line four. We're going to hold our E and our A for six beats because they're tied. One, two, three, four, five, six. And your right hand's going to come over your left. Your left is going to be here and play this F. Okay, and it's going to hold it for six beats. So that might be a little bit confusing, but that's what you're going to do. Your left hand is playing F A C. A C A F A C A C A. So your left hand's just going. One, two, three, one, two, three. Here it is together. Over. That's line four. So over back. Because you want to be here and ready for line five, which is an A F again. And your left hand is doing the same pattern, but we're going to add some A flats in at the end. So your left hand is going to go F, A, C, A, C, A, F, A flat, C, A flat, C, A flat. Your right hand is holding for three beats, A, F, A, F, up, G, B, F, B, for three beats all the way across each one because they're dotted half notes two three one two three one two three so now we've got together and there is the five lines there are the five lines of page three and i will see you for page four Okay, so now we're on page four and you've just done some crossovers on page three. And what's going to happen here is you're up on line one, E on the top, C on the bottom. And you're gonna, you've got these crossovers coming up again that you just did. So you're gonna hold the E and the C for six beats, two measures, one, two, three, one, two, three. Your left hand's gonna be in this area and you're gonna cross over down to C one, two, three, then back. One, two, three. Okay, so it's it's pretty low. All right. What's gonna your left hand is EGB, and you've played this before. You're gonna notice repetitive patterns. If these um, when you see repetitive patterns in music, it's a really good idea to notice them and remember them because. It makes it easier to play the entire piece, okay? These are called sequences in music, but a sequence is nothing more than a pattern. Now, this, this song's loaded with them, okay? So we've got E, G, B, G, B, G, B, G, B, G, B, G. Then we add the right hand to it. us into line two where we've got eg same left hand for the first two measures but then we switch to a dfa and back to an egb so this is your left hand so a little bit of a change in there it gives it some interest actually then we've got b for three bg for three ca two three DB, and you can hear this building up to the next line. You can hear it. It's kind of pulling your ear towards this, which is what you're going to hear in line three. So let's play both hands together for line two. And EA tied in line three. You're going to hold 
hold that for six beats while you're playing F. C, C, A, another crossover here. One, two, three, one, two, three, because they're tied with the right. And your left hand's continuing the same pattern. F, A, C, A, C, A. So I'll put both hands together. Here we go with And when we look at line four, I'm noticing we're starting the same left hand pattern, but we have AF for three beats, EF for three. We have done this. Two, three, one, two, three. That sounds just like a line we just played. I'll have to find it, but we did play that sequence. Now, left hand's going F, A, C, A, C, A. Look out for the F, A flat, C, A flat, C, A flat. All right. So we're going to put line four together right now. And now we're on line five. E, G, B, G, B, G, again, E, G, B, G, B, G, what is your right hand doing? Your right hand's holding an E and a C together tied for six beats. Then what do we have? Another crossover just like in line one. I think it's the same line actually, same music. We're going to come over, play C for three beats. Get back up here so you're ready to play your A, C for your last two notes. So this is what happens. Last line, page four. Whoops. Sorry, let me do that again. Five lines on page four, and I'll see you for page five. All right, so here we are, page five. I've just played this, and all of this is music you've already played in the first four pages. I think you're going to recognize that. So what I'll do, um, you're starting on a B with a G. It's tied. Then you're going to go to a B flat with a G. It's tied. So six beats here. Two, three, one, two, three, one. Two, three, one, two, three. Then it's really going to sound familiar from that point forward. Your left hand is going E, G, B, G, B, G. Now E, G, B flat. E. So that you get the flat in there. You're going to really keep your eyes open for the flats. This is what line one sounds like. Whoops, sorry, I started the wrong spot. Then we come in to line two, a pattern, a sequence you're going to recognize with your right hand. Two, three, E, D. E, D, D, D. Okay, that's all that is. This is measure 81. Now, left hand's just F, A, C, F, A, C, F, A, C, four times across. This next line you've played earlier in the song, you've got C, G, B, and E, D, E, D, E, D, rest two, three. E, D, E, G, E, E, D, E, G, E. And on that last measure, we've got an E flat coming into that left hand again. E flat, G, B. Other than that, it's C, G, B, three times. Watch we do this. They make keys this way so you can slide in, hit that sharper flat, okay? So here is line three played together. Now we take it into line four. 
four, and it's something you've already played. DFA all the way across from the left four times. Three, four. Right hand's just E, Ds. Come into line five, we've got another sequence that you've played before. C, G, B, twice with the left, land on C for three, and C for three. Now your right hand is still playing the E and the D, E and the D, okay? You've got one note at the end, it's a G. It's really the only different note, okay? So this is what line five sounds like. No, line five, page five. I will see you for page six. Okay, so here we are, page six. And what you've got are chords you have played already in this piece. Line one, page six. F, C, A. One, two, three, and F, C, A. One, two, down to D with a B and a D. That's your change right there. Measure five, line one. Right hand's just playing one, two, three, rest. Two, three, rest. E, A, G. So this is how line one sounds. this line again for you. There's line one, page six. Now, keep your left hand right where it is because you're going to be playing B and D three times. One, two, three, then E, B and D, E flat. Your right hand's just playing G, E, 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 G, E, 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 G, G, F, and then off. You've got a whole rest at the end. So that last measure, your right hand is not doing anything but resting. So this is what line two sounds like. Again, D and B here, and G, E. Your hands are going to kind of close here. Page six, D, A, C, again, three more of them. Go down to a C, G, and a B. Then three, a more of them, then C, B, G, off. Now, the first measure or measure 107 of this page, you've got a whole rest, you've got a whole rest in the right hand, and you've got another one, measure four right hand, so you'll, you're going to hear that when I play this, okay? So, D, A, C, that's alone, that starts the line. Now, line four, stay on the G and the B. FCA, no, FCE, three more of those, FCE, then one, two, three. Your right hand has a, a C tied, 
So your first note's actually going to be an E on, on the second beat. So it's going to sound, oh, your left hand, your right hand notes, excuse me, are E, G, A, two, three, rest. A, B, C, tight, rest, C, D, and that's that. So. Coming into line five, and you're going to drop your hand here to an E, and you're going to play B D. Three more B Ds. E B D E flat B D. You've done this before. Now B A G. You've done this in the right too. G. to this so I'll see you on page seven okay so here we are page seven of golden hour and line all right let's look at the bass clef the bass clef is the same pattern all the way through the four measures so you've got D and then you've got AC right here so D AC three more ACs one two And simple you just have a G G F hold the F lift and then G F E for the last measure G F E so this is together looking at line two your left hand is going to play E G sharp and B and it's not going to change you've got one E and then all the rest of the measure in the left hand is G sharp on the bottom B on top so it's E G sharp B one two three three more and staccato lift that pedal for the staccato okay because this is a pedal down song, just about the whole thing. You're using pedal. But when you see staccato, lift it up. It's just for the effect, because with the right hand, you're going to have this. Okay? A D on top with an E on the bottom. It's going to be one, two, three. And that brings us into line three. So line two, right hand, you've got E for three. Bottom note is always E. E A for three. E C for three. E D, staccato. Okay, combined with the left, I added an E in, sorry. All right, that was a crescendo. I got louder as I went, um, bringing us into line three, measure, measure, believe it or not, 129. And you, you're just holding in your right down an E and an A. E's on top, A's on the bottom. Watch out. The reason I started with this, the, the treble clef, the right hand, is because it switches to bass. So what that tells me is that you're going to have a cross over again, down to an F. If you look at your music, you can see this bass clef symbol right here in the middle of the middle of it, little line three. So those can be sneaky. I'll show you what happens. So one, two, three, one, two, three, F, two, three, one, two, three, come back. Now, left hand, all you're playing is F, A, C, not necessarily in that order. Watch. F, A, C, now A, C, A, again, F, A, C, A, C, A. Then your right hand goes back to trouble. This is putting it together. Remember, A and E. Line four. 
four. F A for three. So you see that little jump there. All right, I'll tell you those notes in a second. You probably already know them, but your left hand's doing the same pattern, but they're going to add in a sharp, a flat, excuse me. F A C A C A. Watch out for flat, A flat, C, A flat, C, A flat. So you can hear the change. Combined with F A for three, F B for three, G B for three, B F for three. I'm going to put it together for you. And that resolves, right? It's kind of pulling your ear down to this sound which is found on measure 137, line five of page seven. Let's look at that left hand first. E, G, B are your only notes. G, B, G, E, G, B, G, B, G. So you played this now several, several, several times throughout the piece. E, G, B, G. over to go. So we've got C with an E on top. We're going to hold that for six beats. It's tied. Two, three, one, two, three. But guess what? We get a uh, low C for one, two, three. Trouble. A bass clef, excuse me. Switches to bass. Bring your hand back up. Get ready to play A, C. Like together. played that earlier in the song. I just don't know what page it was on, but that is page seven and I will see you for page eight. Okay, so looking at page eight, we continue with E, G, B in the left, G, B, G. Now we're going to drop down for one measure. You've done this before, D, F, A. Now E, G, B. Started this line off with EGB. So the whole left hand. Now your right hand is starting on a B for three beats. All of these are dotted half notes, so every measure your right hand is holding the note down for three beats. One, two, three, two. That's a B and a G. Go up to a C and an A, go up again to a D and a B for three. I'll put it together. And left hand next line, measure 145, line two, page eight, FAC. You're starting to recognize a lot of these as repeating themselves. So F A C A C A F A C A C A. You do have another crossover happening, but that gives the song kind of a rich sound to it. Your right hand, you start with an E on top, A on the bottom, hold it for six, because you're tied. Two, three, one, two, three. Crossover to an F. One, two, hold it for six. One, two two measures because they are tied. So there's that bass clef that sneaks in in the middle of the line. So put it both together. You've got ready and down. Bringing us back to line three, A and F on, in the right. And your left hand is playing F, A, C. You've just done this A, C. A difference here, they're throwing in that A flat or adding that A flat, I should say. F, A flat, C, A flat, C, 
A flat. Your right hand's going to be playing F A, F B for three. You just you've done, you've done this. That's a B and a G. Then down to a B on the bottom, F on top. So. with the left comes down to this but your left hand what is that doing G B E G E I'm sorry B e, G B I played it right I said it wrong G B G E G, B, G, B, E, two pattern, one pattern, repeated twice. Okay, so E, G, B, then G, B, G, E, G, B, G, B, G. Right hand holding, holding this E and a C for six beats. You've got a crossover, um, low C. So you're going to have one, two, three, one, two, three, down two three come back two three and that's an a c this note down here was a c you're probably getting to recognize this note now two lines below the bass staff is a c okay okay put it all together remember e g b in the left again for line five page eight so you've got the same exact pattern as what's above it for the first two measures g b g b g now e g look at look at that flat b flat e. that's all right hand you're going to hold a g with a b above it for six beats and then a g wait, two three one then go and flat your B, but keep the G. One, two, three. So six beats here. Two, three, one, two, three. And look at that. That's page eight. I'll play the whole thing so you can hear it. And we'll move on to page nine, which is the last one. Okay, I'll see you for page nine. Okay, everyone, we made it to page nine, last page of this song. Now, this is going to start just like you began on page one. So both of your hands are playing in treble clef. That's for just about the entire page until you get to the end where we have a big change. Not only do we have our bass clef back and our grand staff, but we change time signatures as well from 3-4, which has been this whole entire piece, to 4-4, four, four. but we'll get there. All right, so we also have a repeat on this page, and it's retardando on repeat. Um, on line four, you see R-I-T, writ on repeat. That means when you repeat these four lines, slow it down gradually, because it's bringing you to the end, which you play slowly and, like I said, in 4-4 four, four time instead of 3-4. Okay, so let's just start this out, and just like the beginning of the song, you've got F-A-C four times in your left hand. 
okay you already know this you've done it and your right hand's got that pattern of d e g a g e four times in a row i'm gonna put them together in a second right now put them together Now, when you come to line two, your left hand doesn't move. Play F, A, C twice. Then play F, A flat, C twice. All right, and in your right hand, you've got D for three beats. These are all dotted half notes, three beats each. Then E for three. G on top, D on the bottom for three. F on top, D on the bottom for three. So this is what this line sounds like together. Pass over. C. Okay. Cross over C. I've been playing my C's really low, so I'm going to do that. But it's actually written here. So we've got this. Now we go into line four, measure 174. And this is something you've played before as well. Your left hand, keep it put. E, G, E, G, B, because we're in trouble. Now the only thing that changes E, G, B flat. Slide in, E, G, B flat, twice. So E, G, B twice, E, G, B flat twice. Right hand, E, C, E, G, A, G, E, C, E. You've done this before. Changes at the end of that line. Your G has one note, you'll, one beat. You'll notice it is a quarter note, not an eighth note. So the only thing that changes is that you hold the last G of this for one beat, and you don't have the extra E in there. So when we put this line together, line four, we've got... should end on a G and a B flat. B flat in the left, G in the right. Now, you would repeat that and come into this ending. This is what I was talking about. All of a sudden you see right here at the end of line four, page nine, four, four time, four, four time. What is that? Oh no, we switch time signatures. You've got to change the way you count now. The end is played slowly and that helps you change the way you count. Your right hand's going to start on an E, and it's going to go E, C, A. Now, one, beat-wise, one, two, three, four, then go E, B, G. One, two, three, four, then D, B flat, A, F, D, B flat, A for two, then writ again, so you're going to go even slower. C, G, C, B flat, D with an F sharp. That is your ending, very unusual ending. But your left hand starts in treble clef, and that's because you're, well, what you're playing is an F chord. Okay, C, C A, F. For, for four beats, not three. One, two, three, four. Go down one white key each finger. So you're playing B, G, E. You're descending. One, two, three, four. Now keep your G, but slide your, your, your left thumb and your left pinky down to the black keys. So you're playing B flat, G, and E flat. One, two, three, four. You're going to come down again. 
A on the top, F in the middle, D in the and the on the bottom. Two, three, four, come down again. G, E flat, C. One, two, three, four. Then what you're gonna do is just come up. D on the bottom, F sharp in the middle, A on top. So you've had this descending bass line going on. They want it arpeggiated. One, two, three, four. 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 Sorry, my finger slipped off the F sharp. So when we put this last line together, it's very different from the rest of the song. That's your ending. So kind of, you got to get your mind in the right space and realize you're counting four beats per measure. So now I'm gonna play this entire page and we will have the whole song done. Okay. Both hands pretty close together here. Remember, you're in trouble. The, the trouble clef is both right and left hand. Okay, so FAC, remember that? And you're starting on a D with your right. that's it. You made it through all nine pages. Congratulations. I will make a separate video of the entire piece put together, but I really do hope this helps you. I will put timestamps for where each page is in my video so that if you're working on a particular page and need to find it, um, it'll be easier for you to do that. But I wish you the best of luck with this. And if I can find a link again to where I got this on Music Notes, I will um, leave that in my description. Okay. All right. I will see you uh, for the complete song. All right. Bye-bye.